here's the deal. My house was built in 1985 or something along those lines. And these are the original garage door openers. So I was like, you know what I want to get for myself? I'm going to get myself a nice, fancy, smart garage door opener. And I bought this unit from Chamberlain on Amazon for, I don't know, it was like a few hundred bucks or something. It had good reviews or whatever, and it, everything seemed hunky-dory. I got it out, I started opening it up, and I'm reading the manual, and I make it all the way to this page in the manual that refers me to a website that then I scroll like way down and I click a thing, and finally I find out that the if this, then that integration for Chamberlain's garage door openers is a subscription service. Jake, can you be my, can you be my, you know, expert consultant here for a minute? Is there any reason that if this, then that integration would require a subscription? Like a paid subscription? A paid subscription. No, I don't think so. No, no, there really isn't. So I could afford it. It was only a dollar a month. But the reality of it is that Chamberlain, we're gonna do it ourselves. We're gonna take these ancient garage door openers. We're gonna make them smart with the help of what? Like 30 bucks worth of gear off AliExpress? Amazon, you got that, oh. Amazon. Wait, I got one more for you, here. You got yeah. this guy, you got this guy. What, what's this cost? I, these are like 30 bucks each. All right, let's you do it. You probably would've better off just paying the fee. This is gonna pay itself back in like five years. It's the principle of the thing. And speaking of the principle of the thing, Madrinas Coffee. Madrinas blends specialty cold brew coffees into 15 ounce grab and go cans for your convenience. And you can check them out and use offer code Linus. We're gonna have that down below to save 40% today or even tomorrow. But don't put it off, like 40%, that's crazy. So just to give you some idea how overdue oh this my replacement God. is. That's huge. That is my, that's my garage door. What there. the hell? <laughs> well, yeah, it works. So, of course it works. Oh what, yeah. Why would you? Kids, wow, it right? doesn't work like, that well. You can't put You it, can't stop it? Yeah, you can. Oh. So let's start with the highly advanced system um, for my garage door openers here. We've got these two doorbell ringers. Oh, they're not even. That are. 10 out of 10. Um, Did you even push the button? No, the, the, the buttons are loose. <laughs> so if you kind of jiggle them around, they kind of go. Every once in a while, they just open on their own. <laughs> um, and they're definitely very, very attached to the wall. Oh, wow. You could replace those, you know? <laughs> they're just regular switches. Dude, look at your neck. <laughs> Yeah, this, <laughs> it's so bad. Jake shot me with a Nerf dart before we started. <laughs> then over here, we've basically got the safety sensitivity. Like there's no, there's no beam or anything. That's just like how hard it's gonna push on you before it stops. <laughs> and then this is open and this is closed, but like I don't- Why are they all looby? I don't really know what that is. Like, it's what like it's does. dripping grease. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Do you get that on your car? Meanwhile, I'm storing this in here with this like epic garage. Oh uh, by the time this video comes out, this will not be in here, by the way, guys. So, so uh, don't break into his house. Yeah, please. So walk us through what we've got here. The basic premise is this is a Wi-Fi switch. It's like those buttons over there, but instead it's got some relays here. We're going to wire this up to your garage door, each yep. one of them. And then you should be able to just click a button on your phone and it should actuate this. And that's all you got to do. Now, does it replace the hardware button? Uh, it can do both. We can just run it in series, or not in series, but like together with it. And then, because this isn't going to tell us whether the garage door is open or not, yeah. we're going to have a second thing. Oops. This is from a company called Roost. They sent this to us. Thanks for that. Um, and they actually normally make these for insurance purposes, like your insurance, right. your house insurance might require so you to have this. So it logs like whether it was open or not at the time that a theft occurred or whatever. Yeah. So we're just going to stick this on the garage door and we should be able to, on the app, see if his garage door is open or not. Then we've got this guy. So this is a little bit cheaper. Does that other one do up to four? Yeah. Who has a four car garage? Rich people. But you don't have to use them for garages. It can be like to turn anything on really. Okay, sure, fine. So this one's just for a single use and then you just take your micro USB, plop it in there. Put that there on that there, there. If button. I could get it, there you go. And you could also just power it with a, any five volt power supply. So you could, you could use a battery or a battery pack and this will probably last for like months. Cool. But we're gonna plug it in. Step one, just do it. Step one. Step two. Make magic happen. 
Keep doing it. So hold on a second. Do I need to, like, are we even, we're not even getting into any high voltage wiring here, are we? No, this is literally not, it's 12 volt. We need a, a flathead. Getting a little excited over there. Oh my God, that's the OG screwdriver. Yeah, I keep it, it here now because I don't want to like get it confiscated at the airport or something. That almost happened. Except this one time, this was amazing. So what I did is I took the bit out of it, put it in here. They literally take it out of my bag and go, oh yeah, it's a good thing this is really blunt or I'd have to take it. <laughs> <laughs> Are, Saved by the bell. Are you even for real right now? Because oh meanwhile, God. I've got all this other stuff in here that's pointy. <laughs> AC slash DC, seven to 34 to 32 volt. 10 amps at 250 AC or 30 DC. Sure. Casual, right? So just like all the things. Yeah. Okay, what's the app? It's called EWE Link. Is there, a, is, there, is there a paid subscription for that no, IFTT integration? Are you sure? It's almost like it's a free API. Dear user, it's a dollar a month for IFTT integration. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not. Is there somewhere we can plug this in that isn't up there? Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll do it over Just here. Just go over here. Boop. Ah, lights. We may put it in a plastic oh, bag. Oh, so it's just here while we test it. Yeah, I just wanted to oh, okay. not be standing on top of a ladder while we try to set this up. Okay, power up the model, then press and hold pairing button for five seconds until the LED indicator blinks twice and on repeatedly. What does blinks twice and on repeatedly mean? Oh. Hey. hey. Oh yeah, it blinked twice. There it is, okay. Ish. Make sure your phone and the model are closer enough to Wi-Fi router. Found second generation device. Hey. Hey. Heck yeah. So if you click one of those, it should you should hear the relay click. Hold on, wait for it. This is sick. Yeah. How much is this? Like 30 bucks. If you only need one, it's only, I think I checked, it was like $19 Canadian. That's awesome. So now all we need to do is rip this ghetto stuff I off I think here. you should just leave those and then we can have it also. So oh, if somebody okay. needs to come in here that doesn't have the app. Like, couldn't we just put this here and then just splice in some wire? We need to figure out which ones we need to Because otherwise, if we put this up by the garage door opener, then we have to, run we a little have to yeah, wire okay, over to the All right, let's, I'll grab the wires. Okay. Do you get wire strippers? Uh, yeah, I got wire strippers. Oh, yeah? Yeah, baby. You got lots of strippers? Oof. Oh, even a little multimeter. Do you know they make like $1,500 multimeters? I'm sure they do, for people who are far more qualified to use multimeters than I am. <laughs> I am so excited to be able to open my garage door. Yeah. Like, honestly. I'm excited for you. Don't touch. David, you want one? They're for when I'm working. Oh Thank my you. God. Hello. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> what? He's right there. <laughs> oh, hey, sweetheart. You scared me. You <laughs> scared me. I didn't even see him there. Well, he's been doing his uh, martial arts training. Oh, man. <laughs> Mini ninja. I don't want to get my butt kicked. <laughs> didn't leave much slack in those wires, hey? We should be replacing these at the same time. <laughs> Do you have any buttons? Uh. Wow. Oh, so well that explains like why it's broken. It just fell apart. So this just pushes that onto there. Like that's it's a very, actually no, we could probably like fix it pretty easily. This might've just been put back together wrong. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it this was- definitely screwed in. This yeah. was assembled wrong. This was flipped around, I think. Okay, well, why nice. don't we, we so do Nice, so this button is actually, it's fixed. It's like fine now, it's not loose anymore. Yay, I can just put some hot glue in and it'll be like fine, I think. Where's that screwdriver? <clears throat> uh, in my back pocket. Oh, why do you always make me do this? Liter oh man, it's really tight. <laughs> Every time I work with you, I end up reaching into your pocket. Frankly, I've had enough. You've had enough when I tell you you've had enough. Okay, all right. <laughs> Maybe just tighten it a little more. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, that was a nice technique. I don't have a ton of talents, but I'm pretty good at screwing things up. Every time you see that wire that you don't want to pick up just because you're it, so mad. It does seem like there's not a lot that can go wrong, honestly. Yeah, I think it'll probably work fine. You just jinxed it so much. <laughs> Knock on wood. But you have to do the knocking, it's your house. That's how excited I am about having a garage door that Demonetized. Works. Are you not allowed to have an erection on YouTube? I think, yeah, probably. You don't have to roll on this, David. This is, <laughs> this is awful. Well, you can just check. Yeah. Look. Yeah, okay. You just go like this, and then a light goes on, and you go, okay, it's one. Oh, no, I meant like which of these three. Oh, well, it's labeled. Oh, is it? Yeah. No. So you've got your ground, and then you've got your... 
NC. <laughs> yeah, get right and on you got your no. So you've got no, you've got NC, which usually stands for no connection. I'm gonna look up this video of this other guy using Whatever, the same let's thing. Just, let's just go for it. I mean, it can't be that complicated. Okay, give me a sec. I'm coming in the shower. Wasn't me. I want to sing a little louder. Wasn't me. We definitely left way too much wire on that one. Yeah. And it might actually bridge, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it should be okay. Okay, so... Plug it in? Just plug that's it. In, so. Hey! Hey! Smart garage door! Wait, click it again before it closes? Oh! And it pauses. And then click it again? Oh! Hey! So this one doesn't have the go down after that no. speech? Oh. <laughs> no, no, it just continues. Oh, okay. Doing what it's doing. <laughs> so now we just have to wire the other one up. Yeah. Should we... Cu let's cut these wires. It looks awful. I can do that later. Don't okay. worry about it. You're never gonna do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. I'll do it. All right. Oh, I'm gonna that's do a it. Horrible noise. Hey. And then do the first one at the same time. Ah! Dang. Download pending. Why is this down? Okay, I'm gonna go stand closer to my access point here. What's going on? Quick, mine is unlocking. Grab chocolate. Oh. Yeah, go for it. Let's do it. Okay. No, what? You, put your hand up. What? You, you're just taking one. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's too many. Oh, sh**. He got us in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Run, sh**. <laughs> it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was David's idea. Boop. You have no devices. Click oh. to add a new device. Wait to hear a beep, then click next. I'm assuming there was a beep at some point. Um, There's the beep. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no, it's connected. So there it is. Okay. Volt, Wi-Fi, battery good. Okay, so now we have to stick this. Okay. So... Is it, what is it, like an accelerometer then, or like... Yeah, it has, yeah, pretty how much. Does it, no, oh, okay, that's cool. We should probably clean this off. Oh, there's spider webs there, too. That's your cleaning tip? I mean, I have cloths. Well, it's, oh, now I got cobwebs on me all, oh, anyways. What, did you put it on there already? I already wiped it off with my hand. What are you doing? I just, like... Well, okay, well, thanks. Well, Here, let, me mean, clean, let me clean my no, hands no, now. No, no, okay. no. <laughs> what would make this perfect is if it just fell. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't fall off. It's gonna make me look really stupid if it does. Come on, buddy. Yeah, thank you. So that's it. Now I can control my ancient garage doors and I can see if they're open. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Boom! Ow. Oh, my hands are so cold. <laughs> yeah. It's very uncomfortable. Okay. All right. Are we chest bumping or are we high five? Oh, no. we're high fives. Okay. okay. No, why not? All right. What? No, no. You weigh a lot more than me. <laughs> Linus just on the ground. Okay, go on. We got it. Okay. One, two, three. The Mastrop Sennheiser HT6XX headphones are one of my favorites and they're one of Mastrop's all-time bestsellers with over 60,000 units sold. They haven't changed the drivers or the sound structure compared to the HT650, so you get a nice balanced mid-range and natural sounding bass, but they did make one meaningful change, going from a 10-foot cable down to a detachable 6-foot cable based on community feedback. It's got a 1 8 inch plug that's versatile for everyday use, and it comes with a quarter inch adapter, as well as Sennheiser's long-term support. So don't miss out. Click the link below to join the drop today. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, and maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the links in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one. Like these ones. And so this will be coming soon. This will not be. That will not be, that's staff only, but uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. You should go check that out, lttmerch.com. Um, also down there is our community forum, which you should totally join. Yeah, I got it. Ooh. That was a nice technique. I don't have a ton of talents, but I'm pretty good at screwing things up. I mean, I think you're Editor, going... can you please make it seem like I came up with that right on the spot when he said that's a pretty good technique there with the screwdriver? I think please, you, were, you, were please. you were screwing... <laughs> please. You were screwing horizontally. Oh, my. It would make me so happy if we could edit that to make it seem like I'm a lot cleverer than I am. <laughs> Clever? My anticipation is the editor will include the editor's note. <laughs> oh. They really are mean people sometimes. <laughs> LMG editors, just straight up bad people.